And we went pretty much undefeated uh, to veteran trainer, so that was pretty cool. This boy is using X+, plus, so this most likely specs. It's gonna do a lot of damage. This is actually not an ideal team for me to face. Like, not at all. Keep in mind that Boom Burst goes through Substitute from Garchomp too. I'll lead with this boy. I just hope he doesn't straight up kill me. <laughs> we'll find out. Okay. I think I'm dead. Who expects Hyper Beam? King hell, man. <laughs> I'm gonna lose to this bullshit. It's literally the first person I've seen using Hyper Beam. Plus he's using a freaking slacking on the team too. The only reason I'll switch out is if, is, is if he goes Weavile. Because he might be uh, backing Icicle Spare. Yeah, for this I'm not gonna switch. I'll just kill him. Um, I'm behind a sub. I guess he just he doesn't know. <laughs> I just lets me kill everything. So I assume Weevil doesn't have uh, ice school spare. I'm life or bullet punch. Yo, the wrong gamer. What's up, man? Hmm, what should I do? And Magnezone has to eat a hit, but I don't want to lose Garchomp because Garchomp outspeeds these two. I'll go Jellicent because he's most likely going for the Ice type attack anyway. He was using choice packs on the Explode. I oh, never mind. I just went for Ice Shard. Night Slash. The crit is obviously gonna kill me. I get a Magnezone and we uh, flash cannon there. Like, I should not die to Brick Break. Hitmon Lee is not gonna appreciate this attack. He took it pretty well, actually. Let's go, Hippo. I, I jump kick is gonna do a lot. That reckless? No. Using choice band too. Cool. <sighs> 
I at least summon to Sandstorm. That goes into slacking. I'll do the same thing I did to your, uh... Do the same thing I did to your x man. Unless you're Scarfed. But I'll find out now. Damn, I should have subbed. <laughs> uh, duh. Maybe I should not. Maybe I don't need to sub. It's whatever, guys. Only went for brick break. Try to predict zone. Is everything on his team... No, he wasn't Choice Bandit. Pretty funny. That was pretty funny. You sucker punch. Uh, those uh, these kind of players are always scary. You're running full offensive mods. You never know what to expect. Like the uh, choice specs, hyper beam, explode turn one. That's insane. Getting not use. Boom Burst, or is Boom Burst not in the game? Maybe Boom Burst is not in the game. Yeah. I g <laughs> not getting a lot of points from that guy. Next time, uh, next time I will try to do something with the Infernip. I haven't really thought about a team yet, though. Chandler, Aridomo. Gonna be a rough one. Gonna be a rough one. I'm just gonna leave with this guy. I'll, I'll, I'll just protect there. Maybe just goes for trick, you know. Hidden power. Okay. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna lift this unless this is hidden power flying. You're not choiced. Okay. Really good to know. Goes into the chandelier. Please hit. Nice. Show me leftovers. Leftovers. Protect them. As he tried to go for flame char. So as long as Gliscar is around, my Garchomp doesn't do too much. Otherwise, Garchomp would be a big threat. I'll be bringing in Menomes. I'm not sure if he's uh, choice yet. So I'd rather find out with the damage from this. That looks to be choice bags. Okay, so this Chandler's most likely specs. 
if I trade Mandibus for Chandelier, then that's completely fine too. That way he cannot trick me, so... I just make sure I have uh, Mandibus at full HP and then I can always bring it in. This goes for Flamethrower again. But my Mandibus should be able to just, yeah, face tank this. So he does end up switching into the Tyranitar. I don't know what kind of Tyranitar this is going to be. For now, I'll just bring in my Hippowdon, which is full HP. He goes into Rodom, but Rodom is not choiced. I'm just gonna stay. Uh, I, mean, I can just switch into Berloom without worrying about a thing. He did show his hidden, that he had hidden power, so I have to be a bit careful there. He gets an unfortunate crit there, meaning I won't heal to full. Decides to go Con Calder. Are you Flame Orb? Or are you Leftovers? He's Leftovers, okay. So do I poison him? I am actually gonna poison him. I need to. That way Jellison can deal with him. Assuming he has something like Rock Blast. Unfortunate for him, he misses. And I'm actually gonna double into Hippo here in case he decides to go to Renatar and tries to trap me. Otherwise, he won't be clicking Drain Punch on a Jellicent anyway. But the poison damage plus Sandstorm is kind of wrecking up on him. And soon anything on my team will be able to kill him. He's still plus one, so we have to be a bit careful there. But he decided to go for the Drain Punch. And I don't even need to click Hex right now. He's gonna die to Residual. Only reason I have Jellicent is to deal with this Conkel there. So we're just going Scald in case he decides to bring in the Tyranitar for some reason. He decides to go Rotom, so if I burn this, that would be nice too. But it's it's residual, you know. And next time, him switching into Hex will not be ideal for him. So again, we bring in the Breloom. Does end up going for hidden power, whatever this is. Yeah, okay. There. There. And I'm just gonna leech here. As he goes for H HP fire again. I guess he's not fearing the drain punch, huh? It's fine. I'll heal this. So I did around 
Assuming that's HP fire. Assuming. I'm gonna bring in guard chump. Right, so Volt Switch. He's gonna sub air. As he goes to Renatar. But he kind of has to fear damage. It's gonna home claw. He keep bringing in Gliscor. However, me getting to plus two is not good for him. Because with the Gliscor gone, my... And I have Sandville as well, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Sandville is working! I'm just gonna go for a third one. Like, Garch about speeds and everything on his team. And th this way I guarantee the 2-hit KO. Because I'll be full HP, I can tank an Earthquake. Like, that doesn't matter to me. But right now... I'm at plus 3, I might even flinch him. Because for Ice Fang, Sandfell boy, I would have lived the Ice Fang though. I would have lived the Ice Fang. Like if I get rid of this, then I would be completely fine. Like I don't mind trading there. And Chandelier was specs. So unless the Renatar's choice scarfed. Which he's going to show me right now. Yep. So, Tyranitar most likely choice carved. I'm, I keep this around so I can switch it in on uh, Tyranitar. And to be honest, I don't really need Magnus on this game. I can use Magnus on just to pivot into this. Doesn't really matter. That's for Leaf Storm. I resist the attack. With leftovers. I can eat and I can just go for Volt Switch too. Hmm, I am faster than him though. Okay, I think I should have just gone for Volt Switch because I could have brought in Mandibus on him or a Garchomp. Actually, a misplay on my part. It is still okay because Gliscor was most likely his Stealth Rocker. I can just Volt Switch here, and we can Ember Loom on this, as we are not in Seismic Toe's range. Yes, Psy Wave, okay. So I just go for Drain Punch here. We recover quite a bit back. And we'll just click Drain Punch again because uh, Chandelier is choiced. So he's gonna take poison damage and we can just click protect and it's basically over for him now because my reloom is back to pretty much full hp classical rotom um i'm still getting the recovery so 
Doesn't really matter to me. In this game, unfortunately, the Protect goes, goes off even if they switch. However, I have no reason not to click Drain Punch here. And I will outheal his Hidden Power Fire damage with, with the combination of Poison Heal plus Drain Punch Recovery. So basically getting free damage here. Looks to be a defensive uh, Rotom 2, so he, he, he gives up and yeah, it was pretty much over. It was pretty much over uh, when Glasgow was gone, but I am pretty confident because my guard jump was bulky. And even if I weren't bulky, I would have still lived the Ice Fang from a defensive Glyscore. Unless he runs like an like attack EVs, which I doubt. Yeah, like to a regular guard jump, it would ju just do max like sixty percent, and I was close. I was over ninety percent, or close to ninety. So that Ice Fang miss did not matter at all. Even if he was running max attack, it wouldn't have killed me. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm running bulk on this guard jump too, so there was no way he was going to kill me. The only way it would matter if it, if the Ice Fang froze me. Like, come on, he had to hit Ice Fang through Sandville. 